when I'm on a, a live project and I'm producing either planning drawings or a technical design, I will more often than not use Revit. Here is an example of a live project that I'm working on, quite a sizable apartment building in the Baltic Triangle of Liverpool. And it has been coordinated with the structural engineer. You can see some column locations. And this Revit model now is perfect for producing my plan and drawings. And I've obviously got that layer of confidence that it's been coordinated with the structural engineer. Now, when I want to take visuals, now I'm sure this will divide opinion, but I find it easier to model context in SketchUp. And the purpose of this video is to introduce you to SketchUp's new Revit importer. It is absolutely fantastic. Now, a little thing to note is that you need SketchUp Studio, which is a new version of SketchUp. It's a little more pricey. It's not crazy. Um, it's a little more pricey, but it also includes V-Ray for SketchUp as well, which is absolutely brilliant. So it includes the Revit Importer. There's a few other extra features, and it includes Revit as well. Uh, the Revit, sorry, Revit Importer and V-Ray for SketchUp as well. So what I what I would tend to do, I've got, I've got all my plan and drawings. They're all ready to go. The Revit model is primed. I then want to model everything else in SketchUp. That's my preference. So here is a model I've made earlier, and it's kind of a you know a certain radius of, of context, and this is the project site here. Now, in my opinion, as I say, to do all this in Revit would, would, would take forever. So what I want to do now is I want to bring in that detailed accurate Revit model into this scene using the new importer and then I would work it up a little more in SketchUp and then use a, a rendering software um, and my favorite rendering software will soon be announced in um, an upcoming YouTube video but nonetheless you guys will all have your own preferences and SketchUp is a great starting point in terms of importing into other rendering programs. So what I like to do is I like to open a fresh SketchUp model and it is now as simple as this. We have a drop down for a Revit file. We then click on that and it takes a little second to load in, nothing too long. That's now in, in a matter of seconds which is excellent. And it has actually acknowledged the difference in materials applied within Revit as well. Previously, when you, you know, used to have to export it to a DWG file and import it and all the materials and components and everything would, would drop off. And while I mention components, look at that. It's recognized all the window types as a component as well. Absolutely. Fantastic. So just for safekeeping, I like to import it into a separate file just in case anything goes wrong. I will then copy and paste that in here. Give it a sec. Quite a big building. That would be great if we could maybe match the location, but that could be for another day. Nonetheless, being the, the architect on this job, I know where it I know where it goes. Just eyeing that location in for the purpose of visualization. 
doesn't have to be millimeter accurate. It wants to be close enough, of course. Okay. So that's dropped in now. And I think given that time frame of how quick it is to import it, that's actually not too bad if even if changes are made. I know that gets a little bit complicated, but for me, that is a massive improvement to SketchUp and something that I will be implementing in my uh, workflow on a daily basis now going forward. Using that process, I have then gone on to generate images such as these for the plan application in question. It didn't take too long and it was a good way of implementing the, the two programs side by side, Revit and SketchUp. Let me know what you think of this process in the comments. Thanks for watching.